Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is a Psycho bringing you a video. Uh, this video I'm actually bringing in some guests with me to talk over Xbox Live. We have Ether. Yo. Sergeant Copenhagen, or as we like to call him, as Sergeant Cope. Daddy, don't hit mommy. <laughs> and Spiffgod, one of our uh, oldest former uh, clans we used to uh, have an alliance with and are still really good friends and play with. <laughs> Alrighty, so, uh, YouTube, this video I'm actually bringing in, this is actually a little uh, pre-video before uh, our, the DLC that comes out, Uprising, uh, which I will be live streaming uh, as well as uh, Ether probably, which are you yeah. playing on? Yep, he is. Oh, oh yeah, I'm totally planning on live streaming, bro. There's no helping um, Uprising. So, and then I will be live streaming later that night in some of the multiplayer. Uh, we will not be doing zombies because apparently we are missing some of the gear still to even do a zombies game. So, we will be playing totally the. Sad. Yeah, which we'll be playing the, the uh, online. We're missing PVRs, the uh, recorders for the computers. Um, yeah, you need. We tried to do a live stream before. Or I tried to do a live stream before zombies, and it won't let you live stream with the. Uh, the HDMI uh, uh, HD cord at all. Yeah. It only works for League Play and, and we Pub. Will, we will definitely give a review about it during our live I know I will. Yeah. And I think Cameron will be a guest star and they're with me before he has to go off and do his own thing. So we'll be ready to give the report of the Mob of the Dead new pack as soon as it comes out, man. Can't wait. Yeah, which I'm planning on buying it. Which the DLC does yeah. come out April sixteenth, um, you know. So stay tuned for that. Uh, Spiff, uh, what were you about to say? Oh, nothing. Just let them know who I am, so maybe they'll be interested in me. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 Dirty man. <laughs> we won't go there, ladies and gentlemen. However, if you guys do want, <laughs> uh, if, if, if you if you guys do want to know about Spiff, I will uh, definitely do another video where it's a Q and A between me and Spiff. Don't worry. If you are interested, I'll just, you, <laughs> I'll just tell you one thing: they would not let me compete in the championships for one reason. If you're not interested, if you're interested in them, hit the dislike button on the video. <laughs> Or if you're not interested in me, just go on his friends list and send me a message saying, Shut the fuck up, dude. I'll get back to you in my early years. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'll get back to you in like two minutes with another message that is very, very dirty, so beware. Alright, <laughs> 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 <You've been warned. laughs> Yeah, you, YouTube, you have been officially warned at the, at, from this video. <laughs> But, uh, this is not affiliated with me or Psycho. Please don't punish us. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Even though right. this is going on hey, my channel. Hey, long hey, hey. Listen. What about me? That's not fair. <laughs> no, you're so to man. Long to have fun. Too. I am not kidding. I will uh -oh. send you a long <laughs> message. <laughs> but if we can at the end, I'm not playing. So you have been yeah. forewarned at least five times now. But anyways, back to back to what I was saying. Uh, you know, like I said, Uprising DLC. Check that out, April seventh, sixteenth. Uh, my bad. Uh, as uh, we'll be live streaming the multi uh, media of it. And like I wait, said, wait, wait. Have a new DLC. What the fuck? Whoa. Yeah, new, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, new DLC. Uprising. The new zombies. The new zombies. Mob of the Dead and all that. Uh, have you seen the Afterlife stuff for it? Have, with the zombies? I ain't seen. Yes, it. actually, I have seen the Afterlife version of that and. I cannot believe it. What I'm actually curious about saying though is if you can go in it and and how it how it how they'll have to like play it or how you will have to play it whenever you're in afterlife but if the zombies go after your body. Um, what I've heard uh, from I've watched I've read, researched into it from what I'm understanding is when you're in afterlife yeah, it's kinda sure. like when you start a clan called damn. Yeah, it's kind of like, um, man, but I might start a clan called uh, It's kind of like, um, D when you N no wait, I'm having a, I'm having trouble spelling here. D I Y M. Like, um, D I Y M. You, Anybody it's kind of like how regular that? zombies right now when you die. Uh, when you die, you go, you basically watch everybody else. You know how what I'm talking about? 
I don't know, but instead of watching everybody else, you are floating around as a ghost, and you're allowed to build stuff and make stuff, and when the round ends, you go back in like uh, you would in a regular zombies match, but the stuff you've built and you've done comes back with you into your body. Um, and there's only there's certain things on the map that you can only access in afterlife. Uh, yeah, I was gonna you have to do an afterlife. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna say I think afterlife is more giving you more clues and, and able to uh, allow you to uh, see things that are more items. Yeah, and, it, and it's there's actually a new have you guys seen the new uh, perk for it too? Yes. Yes. Like the cherry um, cola or something like that? No, no, no. It was it the cherry cola, but electric cherry. Yeah, yeah, electric cherry. When you reload it, it just shocks everything around you. That looks bad. Yeah, that, that's pretty, yeah, that's very badass. I, I'm it gets not bigger and bigger lie. the more you reload. What, what is, what is the, um, what is the, uh, what is the bellhound doing there? Like, this huge I head of know. a bellhound, what is that doing there? I don't know, dude. It looks like it was stuck yeah. in the wall or something. Yeah, it was stuck. It was stuck in yeah. the. It was stuck in like a uh, like a, a prison cell, but had yeah. a, more of a portal to it, which was really weird. Which I'm kind of interested in finding out what that is all about when yeah. the new map drops. I wonder if it's like you get two posts and you will you get eaten or. I can't remember. Oh, because I, I, every time I've watched it, it's always got something in its mouth and it's just chomping down on it. Might be a zombie. Yeah. Uh, maybe, you know, I'm going to take hard, because I know they're going to do, like, a more, you know, how, like, how you have the, um, intro system or, you know, what, like that? Yeah. Like, for Die Rise, they had that for Die Rise. Well, they have, like, maybe one of the guards getting eaten by that thing, or one of the uh, inmates or something. Time will time will yeah. Time will time will tell when the map comes out. Like I said, April uh, April sixteenth is when the map drops. Also, to you guys, uh, if you don't know as well, uh, double XP weekend uh, Friday through the uh, Friday and Sunday uh, of this weekend is dropping as well. So this weekend. This weekend. Uh, yeah, this weekend. So play the play the hell out of Call of Duty. Get your double XP in. Then come Tuesday, the 16th of April, guys. Stay tuned you will be for the DLC. You will be 110% Exactly. And for everybody that has the season passes, you know, that you you just pass. think about it. <laughs> <laughs> stage master. People who do not have the season pass, be warned. Season pass people get it a week early, so if it comes out on the 16th, oh. then you're gonna have to wait another week. Yeah. About another, it's about a week. It's about a week and a half, two weeks after season pass has it. But uh, the yeah. the pros, believe it or not, the pros do get um, the DLC early, only due to the fact because of MLG. Um, but. The, a lot of the newer map packs are not really used at MLG, but still with the professionals being professionals, they get all the early content as well. Uh, which also, too, that brings me to last weekend's event um, yeah, with MLG. The Call of Duty Championship Rico Impact 1-8. I cannot uh, believe the matchup that we had just seen there. And I couldn't believe the, uh, the, the surgeon... <laughs> Yeah. I, it looked like that, you know, um, Envious Gaming had it. it. It looked like they really had it. And then um, Miracle is just proof. Yeah. Mir Miracle it was, just. It was an extreme. Yeah, Miracle just pulled that little extreme jump, extreme jump shot that off on Proofy. You know, and I, I want to say, you know, congratulations to the top 32 teams that made it on the first day, and then did by day two having the top 16, um, 16, nor uh, 16 North Americans, 16 of the European players, all invited to play here in Anaheim, California, Los Angeles, California, as well, uh, for the three days. And uh, congratulations to Frico Impact for winning the event. Um, you know, it was a long, hard road. I'll also give congratulations for NBA Gaming. You got had one heck of a round. I, I am 
so blown away at both of these guys play. As well as Optic for taking third place, you know, you got you guys did really good. I mean, everybody did pretty well at the uh, at the COD Championships. Um, you know, it, I just uh, for me though, I wish I could have been there in person or even as a player. You know, maybe one day, you know, one day sometime down the road. You oh, know, um, yeah, you know, I'm there. Ed's there. You know, you know, some of these people who who sit here and go, what is it like to be a MLG player or just to even come and spectate a, a match at MLG? You know, I mean, I am. <laughs> but, uh, you know, like I said, Frico Impact, congratulations. Team Envious, congratulations. Optic, congratulations. I mean, everybody, you know, you guys did a wonderful job at MLG Dallas, or, uh, M uh, or COD Championships, as well as EGL, and the COD Winter Champions. Which Fariko cannot be stopped. Fariko Impact just cannot be stopped at all. Um, you know, I, I literally think Fariko Impact uh, is definitely going to be a force to reckon with for MLG for a while. I, you know, that's. I want to say a little something about the new map pack that's coming out. And I heard you say that uh, people with the season pass get it a little earlier than everybody else. So you know what I got to say to that? What? Sorry, everybody that don't have the season pass, but um, yeah, the season pass, the uh, the new map pack gets the jack us off first stuff. So you gotta wait, wait in line, bro. Yeah. Yeah, and here's the and here's the thing. So yeah. The thing too is the Xbox uh, Xbox players, all Xbox players, I should actually say, get the DLC first. And then a month later, uh, the PC gamers and the PS3 gamers, you guys get your DLC a month later. So you guys will have to be waiting uh, May, of uh, May 16th, wait till May to get yours. And okay. Xbox. If you have a PS3, if you have a PS3, just just throw it in the trash, bro. <laughs> Sorry, just. <laughs> Take, yeah. take the material out of it and make a computer or some shit. Like, you, you'd come out better making a computer out of the PS3, bro. There is no, absolutely no reason why you why you should have a PS3 in your house. Unhook it, and the only reason why you have one is because your ass is too cheap to pay for a monthly membership. <laughs> you know, um, you know, and also too, the new console generations are coming out. The PS4 will be the very first one that comes out. Uh, I don't know the exact month that um, the PS4 comes out, but I do know that the 720 will be out uh, sometime this November. Um, so we will have literally a year. They said, if I was reading everything correctly, they said they're going to keep all the uh, original Xboxes, like the Slims and all that, their, their servers up for a year until um, November of 14. Um, and then they're going to shut down these servers and open up the new servers to the 720s. Also, too, also too with the 720s, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there's going to be um, new discs, meaning that uh, I don't know if they're going to they're they're going to pull off smaller discs or whatever now, but um, you cannot play any used games from the 360 version to be compatible with the new 720 that comes out. That's what they were saying. I don't get the 720 very uh, I think I don't put a buy house for like 360. I have like a list of characteristics of when the 720 is actually going to come out. Oh, really? I mean, you may think that the 720 is going to come out this November, but it, it actually has a pushback because there's actually talk about Modern Warfare 4 coming out this year. And because that's coming out this year, the um, Activision they don't want you to br they don't want to bring out a game for such a short amount of time that there's a new council coming out. I mean, knowing that that's just playing out common sense. I, I mean, from what from my understanding, you know, I think the Xbox 720 is going to come out at the beginning of the year, sometime in February, because that allows the fourth generation of games to kick off. So here I have in my hand, I actually have a list of the things that the Xbox 720 is going to have. So you, so viewers, you can look at your Xbox right now, and you, if you see the top of your Xbox, the top of your Xbox is going to be like a computer. It's going to have holographic keypad. It's going to be like a iPad on the top of your Xbox. Hmm. Hmm. Bullshit. Another thing, yes, the CD tray will look different. 
cities might look different as well. The whole the whole Xbox 720 is gonna look like some type of alien asteroid, some shit like that. It's not gonna look look, look like the regular Xbox that you have now. And beware, the Xbox 720 is gonna cost a pretty penny. So <laughs> yeah, not necessarily saying that you're gonna get an Xbox 720 for a penny for some of you hobos out there that just can't afford one. <laughs> but you might get lucky if you have a pretty penny. But yes, um, I actually have another list of these characteristics of the Xbox 720, but I'm not going to tell you because that would spoil it. And there's one thing about the Xbox 720 that I don't want to tell you about, which I will tell my friends about, but just not you, which would spoil it and what, what is the reason why you would not want to buy it, but I'm going to buy it anyway. Yeah, exactly, you know. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, you know, the thing is, is I don't get into console wars saying like, oh, Xbox is better, or PS3 is better, or, you know. Yada yada, you know, uh, for me personally, I, I've always have been a Xbox player. Um, you know, so I mean, re you know, the the older Xbox, the first Xbox, that was like pretty much the uh, console I I started at at five years old was playing Xbox. I mean, I've I've started younger, different consoles, but the Xbox is where I fell in love the most with, and then but jumping up. You know, I had to wait a while, I had to wait a while for the 360, but then I, I finally got my Xbox 360. You know, so I mean, you can needless to say I've been an Xbox player for a while. You know, don't get me wrong. I mean, PS4 is good, or or the PS3 is good, but I just I don't know what it is with me me and the PlayStation stuff. It, it seems to me that Sony just can't. Keep up, can't keep up, uh, keep up. The yeah. coding is different. Okay, I have another thing about uh, PS3 for you broke people on PS4. This is going to make everybody laugh and everybody that plays Xbox. Right. Hey, guess what, PS3 <laughs> is there. Do you know how you, have to, you don't have to pay a monthly subscription for PS3? You can just use regular internet. Oh, yeah. This is the thing about PS4. You're going to have to pay a monthly subscription. So, broke people, ha, ha, ha. I'm so sorry. PS3 players, you might as well just keep your PS3 if you're just that broke. <laughs> I'm sorry. And that's the and thing. 